my house was clean, I'd feel on top of the world. Maybe if my house was clean, I'd be eating better. If my counters weren't filthy, if my kitchen table not covered in trash, maybe I'd eat my dinner with a clear mind. I kid myself hoping for a clear one at dinner, but maybe I'd see HP. Maybe if my floors were clean, I wouldn't be so broke all the time. Maybe if I broke the habit between chasing the beat behind the wave to the beat ahead of it, I'd go farther than I could imagine at a rushing speed. Man, that would be nice. I think it's time I get a house cleaner, or at least a cleaner house. <laughs> Well then, speaking of house, this is one of my favorites. I'm really gonna try to use five minutes here. A funny little house you live in. I'm not sure where to find it. I see you inside, twittering around, keeping busy. I can't find the door, though. I don't know if there are windows or not. The whole thing's made of glass, did you know? I can still see scars on it. I can still see scars from when it fell on you before. You've fixed it up now, good as new on the outside, back to being invisible. No cracks or seams, maybe I'll come visit. But I see the roof has fallen again. You're not standing straight anymore. You seem to be crouching more by the minute. Did you notice the roof? I don't see you minding. Maybe you can't tell, it's been creeping down slowly. I'd come warn you, but I still can't find the door. And funny thing is, you don't see me out here. I'd really like to let you know I'd hate to watch it crash again. There's not much room for more scars. I think all you need to do is push it up, reach, just stop bending with. I hope it stands long enough for you to see this easy fix or just find a window and see me out here. I help, but you have to show me the door. I can't come in though. I can't fix the collapse. We don't we both don't fit inside your house. Your back is round because of this. All you do, all you need to do is stand straight, as straight as you can, and I think the house will grow again. Good luck. Sorry I can't do more. This is fairly new. It's called The Lesson. Meeting you must have meant merely that you were really out there or that people are meant to, can connect to you or to me the way that you did. Meeting you sitting there touching knees with me gently simply taught me someone like you is really out there. This is sweet satisfaction to the truth I've always known but no one likes to talk about anymore. This is bittersweet proof that mediocre, anything less than what you offer me is not an option anymore. Meeting you must have merely taught me that nothing less than you will do. And as long as I know you're out there, still nothing else but you will do. I am slightly nervous. <laughs> but I always thought that was good luck, so what the hell. Um, I've been reading this one a lot, and but I just like it, so you might have heard it before. It's called Not That I'm Religious, but... I believe that Jesus and Buddha would have been friends or are of the same soul or reincarnates or of the same rib or are their Buddha selves. I believe they saw the same path and paved it with words golden to the ear that flipped the switch between almost so close to getting it, to standing in the white light of God's eternal presence. I believe they said the same things just as we breathe the same breath. It's called angry. So angry, I could pitch a fit. I wanted to punch the windshield again. Oh, I could pitch a fit. Like a fool, who gets that mad? What the hell's the reason anyway? Oh, I could pitch a fit. What the hell's the reason anyway? Why on earth have I been fuming around furious for hours? So furious, I think slamming something, anything, my fist, the window, that car would feel better. So furious, I may have screamed a little. Why on earth, what could possibly make me feel this way? When sitting here, it's completely lost to me. But fuck, I was pissed. 